أكد صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد الخليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء على أهمية تعزيز التعاون الدولي في مواجهة مختلف التحديات الصحية التي تواجه العالم وذلك عبر تحويل التحديات الحالية إلى فرص مستقبلية نحو خطط أكثر فاعلية لإحداث تغيير حقيقي والاستعداد للتحديات العالمية بنفس العزيمة التي تولى لكافة التحديات على كل صعيد لافتا إلى ضرورة تضافر جهود دول العالم عبر تعزيز الإسهامات الإنسانية والمبادرات المختلفة على المستوى الدولي بما يحقق الأهداف المنشودة وألقى سموه حفظه الله كلمة افتتاحية في الدورة الاستثنائية لمنظمة الصحة العالمية والتي تعقد في الفترة من, من التاسع والعشرين من نوفمبر الجاري لغاية الحد الأول من ديسمبر المقبل والتي تناقش آليات تعزيز العمل المشترك ووضع التدابير العالمية اللازمة لمواجهة التحديات الوبائية وطرق الوقاية منها Your Excellency Madam President Your Excellencies Distinguished Delegates On behalf of His Majesty the King of Bahrain and the people of Bahrain, thank you for having me speak to you this morning. As a global community, we have for decades ignored the urgent calls of public health experts who time and again warned us of fault lines in the global health order and the glaring health disparities between and within nations. Today, as we mourn the loss of over 5 million fathers, mothers, sons and daughters, and as we begin the difficult task of rebuilding the lives of those who survived this devastating pandemic, we must finally be prepared to listen and to act. The coronavirus exposed the world's lack of preparedness and exploited the links that bind us. Without a global plan of action, countries around the world turned inwards, and as a result, we witnessed the breakdown of early detection and alert systems, the absence of standardized containment protocols, the proliferation of misinformation, and a spate of market shocks and supply chain disruptions, which still leave many without ready access to essential goods, diagnostic tools, treatments, and vaccines. It is imperative that we do not lull ourselves into complacency with the false belief that this pandemic is a once in a century anomaly. Instead, we must seize upon this opportunity to enact real change, to approach global pandemic preparedness with the same determination we bring to geopolitical threats to our collective safety and security. Only then, will we be able to build a global health system that can one day serve as our first and most effective line of defense against the emergence of communicable diseases. The Kingdom of Bahrain, recognized as the coronavirus was just beginning to gather steam and before it reached our shores, that preparedness and collaboration would determine our ability to successfully navigate a crisis of this magnitude. A full month before registering our first case, we established a war room that would serve as the nerve center of the country's containment efforts, marshalling resources and people from military and civilian agencies to coordinate a whole of country response. Bahrain adopted a policy of radical transparency, which fostered a sense of public trust and collective responsibility. Community leaders, medical practitioners, policymakers, citizens and residents all came together to form one team that united around a firm sense of shared purpose. This spirit of unity permeated every corner of society. For example, over 50,000 citizens in a country of just 1.5 million people offered their services as volunteers in many different fields. Armed with this team spirit, we were able to increase bed capacity by a factor of six, secure alternative housing for people living in crowded accommodation, and equip hospitals with enough PPE, ventilators and medicine. As a result, Bahrain has one of the highest recovery rates in the world, as well as a vaccination coverage of 93% of the eligible population, of which approximately 50% have now been boosted to date. But physical health was not our only priority. Economic and mental health featured prominently in our response. With community buy-in and a world-leading test, trace and treat system, we were able to avoid the brunt of the crisis without ever having to institute a national level lockdown. Bahrain's efforts however effective as a national level response, are no substitute for a global public health system capable of stopping a pathogen in its tracks. But our experience is instructive insofar as it testifies to the life and death importance of preparedness and early intervention, and demonstrates the value of transparency, collaboration, and an enduring commitment to data-driven science-led policymaking. We believe these same principles should guide our discussions here today. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the coronavirus has beset the world with many challenges. None, however, are insurmountable if we are willing to work together. Over the last two years, we have witnessed scientists from across the world leapfrog years of research to develop highly effective vaccines in record time. And while the pandemic is full of similar moonshot moments, we have to ensure equal and ready access to these game-changing innovations, particularly in the context of new emerging variants. In fact, vaccine coverage, which stands at over 40% globally, falls under 3% in some countries. And with around 1 billion idle doses in other nations, millions of avoidable deaths are likely to occur. We can solve this challenge and others if only we muster the political will to once again look outwards. It is our hope that the nations of the world will join forces and heed the lessons of this crisis in pursuit of a united front that serves the moral imperative of protecting present and future generations from the scourge of pandemics. Thank you very much.